Hey, what's up folks? Mud Duck Sharky here. And today I'm playing with an LD Moss board. Shocker, I've been playing with a lot of LD Moss boards lately, but as you can see, this is uh hopefully you can see it. This is the MRFX 1K80H. It's a 65 volt LD Moss transistor, and this whole circuit board is my own. The heat spreader, the heat sink, the circuit board, everything on here is of my own uh, assembling, I should say, because this design, everything that you see here, is based off of the reference circuit for 27 megahertz. Except, slight changes. There's an L network, you see that little inductor there, and that little capacitor there. Those are different from the uh, reference circuit. There's also a few other slight differences, like that capacitor's different, uh, variable capacitor instead of a fixed capacitor. There, there's a few little minor adjustments here. Um, the L network right there on the input was to lower my reflect, so I checked it with the VNA. But anyway, let me let me give you a, uh, a breakdown of what I've got going on so far. So, originally I ordered the NXP reference palette because I wanted to see how a reasonably well-engineered device is assembled and, and configured. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot from the NXP palette. And you can see a lot of what I learned is reflected in, in what's going on here with the PCB, um, the transformer, the windings, the all that good stuff. Um, so when I picked up that reference palette, I played with it and I built it into a functional amplifier, which is over here. I'm currently not powered on, currently lid closed, but anyway, if you want to see that, I'm sure I'll bust it open at some point. Um, the pallet's in that in that unit over there, and um, I learned a lot from that pallet. I really did. So what I wanted to do after seeing that pallet is create something similar and have another one that I can play with and tinker with, make changes, and uh, see what the end results are. So... The thing about the other palette is that it's a continuous CW palette. So the uh, the LD MOSFET is designed for a, you know 1700 watts CW continuous duty, um, if not more, maybe even 1800 or 1900. And I don't intend on running this in a in a CW capacity. I, I intend on running it on AM and SSB modes. So. Um, I want to tinker with getting more peak power out of it. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to blow that $250 chip up. But that's why I built this, is because I want to experiment. And uh, hopefully I'll get some results in the positive direction. So what I've got so far is this is, I just assembled this, finished assembling it. And um, I've run through some tests so far. So first thing I did is I plugged in the bias circuit. Uh, that's these two power wires right here, 12 volts feeding the bias circuit. Um, I powered that on, adjusted the bias to uh, about 2.4 volts, which is below the, the turn on point. And um, at that point, I fed 50 volts into the high side power, and um, I slowly adjusted the bias up until I got about 300 milliamps of current. So this is monitoring my current. Better is east. If you've ever seen uh, True Lies. Um, so I plugged it in, adjusted the bias up to about 300 milliamps, and uh, I introduced a very small signal. So what we've got over here is 12 volt power supply, uh, function generator. So this function generator doesn't put out much power. Um, it's, it's a tenth of a watt, I think. And uh, that's what I tested this out on first. So let me run you through the process of, of kind of what I did. Um, over here, I got my scope hooked up with the FFT function turned on. Um, I've already been through this, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. So let me turn on the function generator. And we're drawing about 3.3 amps. If I put this into forward mode, we're on the 30 watt setting. So we're putting out about 25 watts. And you can see our spectrum analysis is gorgeous. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't get much better than that but I'm sure it's going to get worse as we crank up the power. So this function generator is only putting out a tiny, tiny fraction of a watt. So um, 30 watts is totally acceptable. Um, I did this same setup with the NXP reference palette. 
and I was getting about the same results with this thing, with this function generator maxed out, I was getting in the, in the neighborhood of 30 watts. So, now that I've verified that everything is working reasonably well, um, it's time to hook up a bigger power supply. So, I have this one set at 56 volts. Um, it's a 7 amp, 350 watt supply. Um, I started out with a with a underpowered supply, just in case anything goes haywire. That supply is not going to, hopefully, deliver destructive amounts of current. Um, yeah, so now it's time to step up to a bigger power supply, um, a bigger input signal, and we'll see what happens. All right, so this is the inaugural run on the big power supply, and uh, I haven't I haven't keyed it up yet, but I figured I'd, I'd put it on video just in case, because uh, you never know what fun may be had. Should probably turn that up. Forward, got that connected. That's connected to the dummy load. All right, I think I'm pretty much good to go. Got my little input watt meter over here. So that's coming from this radio. Uh, RF power is all the way down. It's going through eight dBs of attenuation. Um, actually, it's coming into the into the meter first, and then being attenuated by eight dBs, and then going through the connector over there. So here goes nothing. All right, did you look at that? Janky Chinese junk. It looked like we pulled about 10 amps and uh, meter was over here somewhere in that range, somewhere between 500 and 1000, so that's good. It, uh, it isn't blowing up. Let's go right on to that. What am I adjusting here? Oops. I'm adjusting the wrong knob. This is the one I want to adjust. There we go. Uh, harmonics aren't spectacular, but we'll tinker with that a little bit. About 500, 600 watts. About 10 amps from the janky amp meter. 65 volts. Well, all right. It has not let the magic smoke out. So that's always good. But anyway, I'm gonna keep on tinkering and I'll, uh, I'll come back to you once I got some results I can be proud of. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.